So a new microcontroller has been introduced. Today we will look how to blink an LED with our great Raspberry Pi Pico. The timestamps have been given in the description. You can directly jump onto the part where you are, where you are interested in. Without any further delays, let's get started. Hello everyone, so now we will uh, see how we can program our Raspberry Pi Pico. First of all, you have to install this thing which is um, Thony. Uh, I have put a, a link to download this software in the description. You can check it out and just get that stuff. So now, after you open this up, you will see right here, right at this thing. Um, you will see this thing here python 3.7.9 mostly you will see python 3.3 or anything else okay so the first step or first approach is to just um, click here and click on micro python raspberry pi pico just click here uh, i have already installed it and you just have to um, okay we have got error device is busy or does not respond so what we will do is that we will just plug in our Raspberry Pi Pico. Okay, I have plugged it in my Raspberry Pi Pico. Okay, and now we'll again click here. So you can see that it is not connected, and and you can see um, you will be you guys uh, would be seeing um, a message to install it. You just have to click on install and it will automatically install. Okay, now um, to get started. We have to do one thing first. The first line is is like necessary in any code of Raspberry Pi Pico. Okay, in Arduino, we have automatically pins like we we, we will write twenty five or thirty. But in uh, in the Pico, we have to write a statement that will derive the pin. Not worry about it. We will just see it in a moment. Okay. The first step is always from in import pin this is our first and basic approach and this line is necessary this one this line is is necessary in every part of program and now what we will do is that we will import a u time so what is the u time it is actually the timer I will show its use in a little bit moment and okay pin so yeah now we have the part of LED pin declaration so what we will do in this part we will actually write a variable for example I will say LED equals to now comes the pin declaration we have to use pin pin and open bracket and close bracket it has actually two arguments and you can add as many more but for now we have two arguments one is pin number we will use 25 here because the our raspberry pi pico has pin number 25 connected to its LED. okay so what we will do is that we will place comma and pin now it has it has two arguments either in or out because we are using an LED here we will use pin out here because we want to provide voltage over there after declaring pin dot out we have to enter into our loop as in Arduino ID we have the void loop but in Python we will use while bracket true and then this colon sign here and then, then and then we press enter you see that we have automatically left these four spaces this, these four spaces here 
which is actually the syntax of Python. Okay, just press enter and you will enter here. So what it means is that um, when you will be writing in in like this sequence, this sequence. So this part is the part of this condition. Okay, and while if you are writing here, like I will write LED dot value. So this is not the part of the loop. Okay, the part of the loop is this thing. I will write here. Okay, LED dot value. So this is the part of the loop and then um, when we enter into while true what it will do is that it will give the value of, uh, to the LED variable and LED is connected to the pin number 25 and declared as output. So what it will do is um, it will turn LED okay. it will just do this thing it will provide a high voltage then we want U time sleep one what we want is that um, delay of one second so now we have the our LED in um, as one we have declared the delay of one second now we will put a little bit value as zero why is zero because we want to turn off the LED, okay? The LED will turn on for one second, wait for one second, and then turn off. So, turns off LED, okay? Now we will write u time dot sleep one. So, what it will do is that it will repeat the sequence. This is while true, and it will like. Um, it means that uh, uh, this while loop will continue forever. LED goes high, it will wait for one second, it goes uh, low, it will again wait for one second and then the ci this cycle keeps on repeating. LED goes high and then turns off and then it is okay. So in order to upload the code, we just have to click on right there. Run script F5 or I will press F5, it will run right here and it will I will press F5 so my LED is now blinking uh, let me show you through my webcam um, just open up my webcam here see that so this LED is now blinking and now let's change the sequence to like 3 seconds so it will turn it will remain high for 3 seconds and then we'll turn off let me just yeah just and you can see that it is now on for three seconds turns off for one second yeah. okay so here is how our first program is run and in the upcoming series we will be we, we will be working with different type of sonar sensors ultrasonic sensors with several motors and other type of things okay